Occupy protesters go face to face with officers on horseback while connecting themselves with pipes outside the port of Houston. It was part of a national effort to leave downtowns and occupy ports all around the country. Things here in Houston got tense and led to arrests. Local news Phil Archer joins us now live from the port. Yeah, we're told now a total of 20 arrests made by Houston police right here this afternoon as Occupy Houston protesters tried to block the main entrance to the port of Houston. They uh, shut down this access road for about two hours today, but they didn't seriously impede business operations at the port. This demonstration and the arrest part of a broader demonstration as the Occupy movement moves nationwide on new targets. We are unstoppable! Dozens of protesters blocked the road this afternoon, beginning around 1 p.m. Some chained themselves together using links of pipe to stop traffic. Houston police on foot and on horseback quickly moved in and systematically began making arrests. Firefighters were called to cut the PVC pipe. They erected a tent as they did it to block sparks created as they cut through the pipe. Demonstrators were then escorted to waiting paddy wagons. The protest lasted about two hours. Protesters never really stopped traffic flowing in and out of the port. While police were making arrests, trucks were diverted to other entrances. We're in solidarity with our brothers and sisters on the West Coast who uh, initiated their port shutdowns today uh, for the ILWU and their, their uh, difficulties they've been facing this year as well as the, the, as the truck drivers. Today's protest was done in conjunction with demonstrations at some of the busiest seaports on the West Coast, an attempt to slow or stop operations at all of the ports. There were arrests reported in Oakland, California, Portland, Oregon, and Longview, Washington, as well as Houston. And again, here in Houston, 20 arrests total. Eight of those protesters arrested for chaining themselves to the pipe here in the middle of the roadway. They're charged now with felonies. We're live from the Port of Houston. I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Local 2.